first we've got to talk about this new man coming into Manchester United. If you've not heard about Ralph Rangnick, don't know too much about him. The clubs that he's managed, Schalke on two occasions and won the League Cup in Germany and the German Cup uh, on two occasions, 2005 and 2011. Took Hoffenheim up into the Bundesliga, did the same with RB Leipzig, was a director of football at Red Bull Salzburg and at Leipzig. As I say, he's now at Lokomotiv Moscow. He only joined them in the summer, but they're just organising a compensation package on Manchester United for Lokomotiv Moscow so Rannick can join. And he has talked, and many, many managers have talked, about the mentorship by Ralph Rangnick, the likes of Jurgen Klopp and Thomas Tuchel and the Austrian manager of Southampton and Ralph Hassan Hurtle as well. So it's a really interesting choice, this. Only until the summer, as I say, not yet made official, Robbie Musto. Mm. Interesting for you? Yes, very interesting, and I like it. I think there's two parts to this. There's Ranyak, the coach, and there's Ranyak, the consultant, director, and the experience that he's gained in Germany of bringing clubs from nowhere to really, really, really high levels in German football. I think immediately the coaching part will, of course, um, consume him. Polar opposite to Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Polar opposite. Famed for intensity in his pressing, um, zonal marking, which was tough to, to bring into German football, which he did way back. Um, trusted by so many great managers that we're seeing now at all levels of the game. And just so very different. A man with a plan. Um, this team will be organised, Rebecca. And that's the exciting part. The other part I'm actually more excited for is his leadership abilities and the potential for him to direct this club in the future. If there's one thing that we've said here weeks after months after months of Man United, they need some structure and they need somebody to organise the club. The football expert that they've needed since Sir Alex Ferguson left the club, in my opinion, to run everything football-wise, they need somebody. And I'm not saying he's going to be the guy right now and he's going to be a consultant, apparently, for a couple of years afterwards, but potentially he could run the football side of this of this organisation, which I think they need. Some concerns from Manchester United fans this week, Tim. If you look at that CV, that resume, you see that there are no big elite clubs on it. And Robbie's talking about bringing clubs up and getting them promoted. That's a whole different world to Manchester United. This is the biggest job of his career, and he's going to feel a pressure that he's never felt before at Old Trafford. Does that concern you? It concerns me, and I think there is massive pressure on him, as Robbie said, what happens after the six months, I think he'll be brilliant in that consulting role. I think this is what Manchester United needs. Right now, they need to organize this team and win football matches. The zonal marking that you said he brings, the press, the repress, it's tried and tested, and, and it, it works. When we look at Tuchel and Klopp, it does work. It takes time. It takes time to implement. Uh, you know, we look at Liverpool's success. They didn't have that success mm. early on under Klopp. So it takes time to implement and to get on the training ground. And also, I wonder about Paul Pogba, and I wonder about Cristiano Ronaldo. Are these players who are going to want to press and high press? And they're winners, no doubt, but I'm not sure that they're going to want to do that. Now, I think there are players, young players with strong running legs in the team who will do that. Does this guy have the ability or, let's say, the nous to drop these big players knowing he only has six months? It's, it's, it's an interesting little conundrum there. Yeah, it's interesting. I think a, a smart coach, you'd have to trust his ability mm -hmm. To, to make these players play in a particular way and also for Ronaldo, to, maybe to give him simple direction of maybe just showing one direction. Poor Pogba, this is your responsibility. I think he'll expect that. And I think he's experienced enough now, Tim, and confident enough to say, you know what, this is what I want. It's going to be pretty simple for you. You're going to know what you're going to, in any situation, what you have to do and what the team requires you to do. If you're not going to do it, then I think he'll change the team around, Rebecca. I think we're going to see more of Donny van der Beek. Mm -hmm. Legs, energy, forward passing. He likes the forward, quick football. Yeah. It's going to be really interesting. There was an article this week that talked about Ed Woodward going into the backroom staff, having had a meeting after he fired Ole Gunnar Solskjaer to say all your jobs are safe, which means that Kieran McKenna, Mike Feele and Michael Carrick are going to stay no matter what. Do you think that's the right thing to do? No, I don't, because now is not the time for that. If, 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 if the person they want, their main man is out there, their head target, and they want to get him in the summer, you're really doing a disservice to keep this backroom staff that's been together that really hasn't necessarily earned that future just yet. If you're going to bring your new guy in, he's going to want to bring his own people in too. So I think the timing seems a bit off for me. Yes or no, if he does a really good job in six months, is there a chance he's made permanent? As coach or director? Coach. Manchester United There's manager. always a chance at this club. No chance. Yeah, there's always a chance at this club. No. They, they could, I mean, yeah, who knows? He could go, could stay, could be director, could not. <laughs> who knows? Well, he's interim. We know they're like an interim right now. Interim. He will be interim when he does come. As I say, not yet made official. 
Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch highlights all season long and be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend at 7 a.m. Eastern. And for even more content, head over to Peacock, where we've got live games, original series and a dedicated round-the-clock Premier League channel featuring studio shows, classic matches and much more.